Hey guys, Titonia here. Today we're going to be looking at one of the very hard matchups of the Kestrel, the Daredevil. The Daredevil is one of the most powerful brawling frigates. It has a web strength bonus and the highest damage output in the game. It also has a falloff bonus so it has increased reach, making it harder to mitigate blast of DPS on top of the web. If you're going to choose to engage a Daredevil, there are a few tips that you can use to see if it's possible or not. I would always look at a Daredevil and identify guns before fighting. Never, I mean never, ever, ever engage a rail Daredevil. It's not possible. Even if it's a nano kite fit that you catch at zero kilometers, thanks to the web bonus it's going to track you perfectly, and it just has too much DPS and stats for you to be able to kill it. If you look at the Daredevil and you see that that has either iron or electron blaster cannons, your chances to win are actually significantly higher. Lower tier guns usually mean that the Daredevil has chosen to fit a utility high, which you don't care about, or a plate. This is really good for you because it means the Daredevil will have vastly lower range, the fall off loss on ions and electrons is significant, and it will buy you a few precious seconds. If the Daredevil respects you and loads null, this fight is also not possible if it has neutrons. Uh, I would also recommend checking the Daredevil pilot out on Z Killboard. Due to the recent tier side changes to stasis webifiers, the Daredevil will not have a 90% web unless it has cho chosen to fit either a Tech 2 stasis webifier or if it's pimped out with a Federation Navy stasis webifier or one of the alternatives. Most of the generic Daredevils that you encounter will only be running a uh, fleeti fleeting stasis web of fire, which only gives the Daredevil an 82.5% web. And the difference between 90% web and 82.5% web is actually almost double the strength effect. And fighting a, a Daredevil that has the pimped web or the tech 2 web is significantly harder. The tech 2 web though does cost an extra 30 CPU. The Daredevil is pretty gimped on CPU. So even though it is slightly harder fighting a tech 2 web Daredevil, it would have made fitting sacrifices elsewhere, so it is still possible. Uh, to talk a bit about the mathematics behind, behind fighting a Daredevil, your base speed is 406 meters per second, his base speed will be 480 meters per second. You know, this is assuming that he doesn't have any speed mods, obviously. If he does have speed mods, it's probably going to be an easier fight, to be fair, because he has less tank or less DPS. Uh, when you web him, you drop his speed down to 207 meters per second. When he webs you, with the fleeting web, he's dropping you down to 71 meters per second. This means that he will gain on you by about 146 meters each second. So he will travel, you know, to put it into a better layman's perspective, he'll travel about 1.5 kilometers every 10 seconds. If he has the pimped web, uh, he's going to slow you down to 41 meters per second. This means that he, he gains on you about 1.8 kilometer each second. So it, he gains on you about 15% faster. Uh, so assuming you start this fight at max distance at 10 kilometers, which you absolutely should, you should always be uh, super careful when you're starting these fights to make sure you're directly MWDing away from him and he's directly MWDing towards you. So in that way, when you both like scram and web each other, like your, your speeds sort of slow down at the same rate and then you start the fight perfectly at 10 kilometers. It will take, t since he travels uh, 1.5 uh, kilometers every 10 seconds, if you start the fight at 10 seconds, it will take him about... 30 seconds before he starts fucking you with antimatter and uh, that's definitely enough time to be able to take him down or get him low enough that you can just win as you're just melting. I, I can't stress enough though that you absolutely have to start the fight in this way in complete perfect conditions. If if he has inertia and it travels and takes him into you, you're, you're completely fucked. The only way you can win this fight is if you start this fight in this exact manner where He's uh, where the fight's at 10 kilometers and you are both traveling in the same direction. So as you slow down when you both scram and web each other, he doesn't get like extra speed like taking him into you because otherwise you will just lose. This is the only way you can win it against the Daredevil. Uh, if the da Daredevil has antimatter or void loaded, it, it is definitely possible. I do have a graph up on the script on the screen right now. This is the range that the Daredevil has with neutrons, with different ammo types. This is assuming that the Daredevil has two magnetic field stabilizers on a common uh, null sec fit. But it's definitely possible that he might only have one mag stab or you know rigs instead or or whatever. Uh, it's a lot easier to kill uh, like more more tanky orientated Daredevils. The the reason why it's really hard for you is mostly because of the DPS output. So this is kind of the worst case graph. You can see here at 6 kilometers. So if you start the fight at 10 kilometers, after like 30 seconds, he's going to be at about 7 kilometers. Maybe a bit, bit closer. If he has a pimped out web, he will be, you know, around here, 5.8. 
So, uh, with Null, like I said, if the Daredevil respects you and he loads Null, because it gets a, uh, it gets the 10% bonus to small hybrid falloff per level, uh, it's gonna fuck you up, because with Null, he's doing more DPS than you, and because it's a pirate frigate, he's gonna have more stats than you, more effective hit points, and the small ancillary that it typically has. It's gonna kill you. So, generally, you cannot kill a Daredevil that loads Null. So, if a, if a Daredevil actually respects you enough to load Null, then you can't kill them. Well, it's actually pretty rare that a Daredevil actually ever loads Null against me. I think I've killed five Daredevils with Shark Prince 2001 overall. And that's the only solo Daredevil fights I actually got, though. And, like, if they load Antimatter or Void, like I said, it's definitely possible. With Antimatter, he's not really going to start doing significant DPS until he gets closer than 6 kilometers. And, like I said, if you start the fight at 10 kilometers, he's only going to travel... Uh, into this range after about 30 seconds and you can you can wear him down enough uh, before he's into that range it's also worth pointing out that the Daredevil is not actually that cap stable uh, so uh, like if you're forcing him to run the small ancillary or his rep like the whole time it's very possible that you can like nuke his web off you or something that's actually happened to me before and if he loads Void, obviously it's a much easier fight because he's not going to start doing significant DPS to you until he gets closer than 4 kilometers. Uh, it's also worth pointing out that if a Daredevil has a pimped out web, if he has the uh, Fed Federation Navy web, he can heat that out to 18.9 uh, kilometers. So uh, very good Daredevil pilots who uh, maybe respect you. Uh, what they can do is they can overheat the web on you and just chill at 15 kilometers, 16 kilometers, and then once your speed like drops down and your inertia is gone, then he's just gonna overload MWD and just approach you. And then like e even if you're still doing the same thing that I said, where you're like moving away from him and you're like spamming like heated scram web on him, uh, like he he's just gonna have so much inertia like carrying him in and like you're already going too slow. So he's just gonna like directly like he's just gonna if he does that he'll land like five kilometers from you and then he'll fuck you. So. Uh, if you, it's always a good idea when you're trying to like bait a daredevil fight. It's always to MWD align to a planet. If you see a daredevil trying to do this to you, it, it means that they respect you with a fed navy web. Uh, it, it means that he's purposely trying to uh, like manipulate the fight like this. I've never actually seen a daredevil do this. Uh, like, uh, like for for my casual fight because you know most daredevil pilots they just hit approach and they charge in. But that's definitely something to be aware of. Like if you see a daredevil doing that to you, just warp out. Because it, it just means he's trying to manipulate the fight. Uh, and it's only something that you'll see like very high-end skilled pilots doing. So again, it's not something that you'll encounter often. Uh, anyway, what, what, now that I've talked a bit about like the mechanics behind the fight, let's go into like an actual Daredevil fight that I got uh, when I was streaming. And I think I did everything perfectly. And I, I hope this will give you like a, a good idea of you know what you're looking for when engaging a Daredevil how you're gonna start the fight and you know all that all that good stuff so when again to a recent fight i had against the daredevil on my stream uh, there was a daredevil following me so i was kind of just chilling on this gate what i really want to do is i want to take a look at his uh, ship to see how he's fitted like i mentioned you cannot engage a rail daredevil and if the daredevil has ions or electron blasters my chance of winning is much much higher so i just chill on this gate wait for him to show up just so i can take a look at his ship Again, it's super, super important. If it does have neutrons, again, you can still win. It's just going to be a harder fight, especially if it loads no, there's no way you can win. But if it has ions and electrons, it is definitely possible. So you can see here, I, I do the zoom in on him. Uh, I actually, when I was streaming, I thought he had electrons, but it turns out he actually has uh, had ions. I, I'm kind of confused. Oh, I, I, know how, I know what neutrons look like anyway. So you know, if it has electrons or ions, you're good. So as soon as I get to the other side, I'm jumping. I want him to fight me, of course. So I'm gonna I'm gonna double click in space and MWD away. Uh, it might it would have probably been better for me to double click towards a uh, celestial so that I could line out and warp if like the the something changed or something like that. Although I was mostly just double clicking in space in this random direction just so uh, you know was, like double clicking away from the rats so they won't interfere with the fight. Uh, here he seems like really hesitant. I was like double clicking in space trying to burn away. I, I want him, I need him to burn into me while I'm burning away from him. And so that when we both scram and web each other, uh, basically we're going to like slow down at like similar speeds. And basically it's going to start the fight like where I want it to be, which is at the edge of scram and web range. You, you need to start a fight at 10 kilometers or it's over. So you can see he's burning into me now. I'm spamming overhead, overheated scram web on him. It's very, 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 very important that we start the fight at the very edge of range. So he gets a web on me, but I get the scram on him. This Daredevil actually has a Federation Navy web. I didn't actually know. He didn't actually heat the web. 
like, like I mentioned, that there is like a play that like smarter Daredevil pilots can do where they heat the web and then they just chill a bit, then then they go in like once you've slowed down to sort of counteract you doing this. But it seems like he he was pretty slow with the uh, turning the web on and he never heated the web at all in this fight. So I I do put a lot of decent damage into him though. However, so he des actually decides to bail. I think he, he warps off. I guess to. Uh, rep back up and get some more cap again i was also wondering if he like burned something out or something i didn't know he had a faction web until i killed him and because he never heated it on me i thought he was just hit and he sort of webbed me after i webbed him i thought he only had it like a tech one web and i thought that you know m maybe he like put a ton of heat into it and ended up burning it out or something like that so i do follow him here to show that I'm interested in fighting him, I assume that, that he's running for me. If he had an, I don't uh, normally dead will, will probably have an ancillary. This one in particular had a dead space rep instead. Although I think the small ancillary is probably just as good because the dead does have cap issues. It can't. The standard dead can only run like the uh, like the rep for about 50 seconds, and uh, like it takes you like 30 seconds to use all your ancillary charges. So there isn't really too too much difference between. Uh, the dead space in the ancillary in my opinion so it doesn't really change the outcome of the fight too much here i land on him at zero i don't have a weapon summer so i could have jumped i decided that because he was like hesitant and scared i double click in space and burn away from him uh, i was pretty confident that even if he scrams and webs me like my inertia would just carry me out of range and that's what happens so i actually end up like just using my inertia to coast out his range he has a pretty shitty scram so i'm also able to he also drops his scram on me uh, the, the fight does start to change uh, a bit because uh, some of his alliance friends, or oh, not his alliance, but like people who he's blue to come to try and help him. Uh, a Jack Dorlands who's blue to him and uh, a Rapture and a few other things come into thing. I do end up burning out my scram here, but it's very important that I just heat the scram as much as possible. Uh, it seems like he just kind of gave up at the end there, but I, I, I'm able to kill this Daredevil. And then I get killed by the Jack Dorland, you know, all his buddies. But that's how you want to approach the Daredevil fight. You absolutely need to just, you know, play super defensively. Like I mentioned, you always need to make sure he's burning into you. And here you can see his fit, you know, Dead Space Rep, uh, Federation Navy Stasis Web. If I only had one mag stab, but he d does have the uh, the small uh, uh, burst rig to make up for the DPS. And he does have two, t he actually had two anti-explosive pumps and I was shooting Nova at him. So it, it did take a bit longer than it otherwise should. But anyway, that's the Daredevil fight. That's the Daredevil matchup. I hope this makes it easier for you to take this very hard matchup.